assalamu alaikum welcome back uh, and we are doing paper a levels mechanics 9709 variant 42 may june 2025 and we were doing question number five and i want to redo the part c there is a minor error in that they say that when the system is released has been uh, sorry when the system has been in the motion for 1.5 seconds the string attached to a breaks okay the string that is attached with a this particle a breaks somewhere so they say that find the total distance that a travels up the plane the important point in this one is that it travels up the plane from the instant that the system is released from rest to the instant that A comes to instantaneous rest. Okay, so they are talking about what part of the journey they are talking about. They say your particle A is moving up the plane and it has covered some distance in 1.5 seconds. Okay, it, is in, it has been in motion for 1.5 seconds. So first we will calculate the distance that is covered in these 1.5 seconds. Then they say the string breaks somewhere. Because this, uh, the body A was moving upwards, traveling up the plane, so it will not instantaneously, like suddenly it will not come to rest, but instead it will continue its motion upwards due to the inertia. And they are telling you to find out the distance it has covered until it comes to instantaneous stress so obviously when it is moving upward it will continue its motion and then it will come for a second there it will be at rest and then it will come back so they are just asking you for the distance it has covered up the plane till the moment it has come to instantaneous rest so let's find that First, we have found how much distance it has covered in 1.5 seconds. In this part, first we will find the acceleration with which it is moving up the plane when the string is intact. And then the distance it has traveled with that acceleration. So I can write here, when string is intact. Secondly, we will be now finding out when strings when string breaks. Now, first, as usual, we must be finding the acceleration. Okay. So, and for that, because to find out the distance, we must first know with which acceleration it will be moving. Because now when the string breaks, the acceleration is now different than before. So for that, we will be using forward minus backward equals ma. Now, if the body is moving upwards, so this will be the direction of frictional force okay so what what are the forces forward is anything making it move forward no nothing there is no driving force and backward is frictional force plus 3g sine 30. obviously this is also in the negative direction, like opposite. So I'm also taking it negative. Or you can take all the backward forces adding up together and then subtracting, writing the negative sign out of the bracket. But I'm just writing down all the negatives. Minus 3g sine 30. What is mass? 3a. Okay, 3 kg is the mass. Now, frictional force is mu r minus 3g sine 30 is going to be 
3 times 10 times sine 30 is half equals 3a. Now what is mu? This is the value for mu and this is the value for r. So mu is 11 over 15 root 3 and r is 15 root 3 minus 30 over 2 is 15 equals 3a. So 11 minus 15 is minus 4. Okay, this is all this was also negative, so it will be minus eleven minus fifteen would be minus twenty six acceleration will be minus twenty six over three. Now when we found the acceleration with which it is moving. Now we should be finding the distance it has covered. So for that, actually in this, when the string breaks, we don't have the time. So we should be using the other equation of motion that is not involving time. So that we will be using will be e square equals u square plus 2as. Final velocity is zero because it comes to instantaneous rest. And initial, we know it to be, it is moving with three meter per second when the string breaks. Okay. So three square plus two minus 26 over three is that we need to find. So it will become. 52 okay it will become 52 over 3s equals 9 and then s equals 2 27 over 52 That is zero point five and nine two. Now let's rearrange it a bit because we now we have to find the final distance. Okay, and the total distance will be the distance first covered when the string was intact. Okay, and that was 2.25 meter. And now the distance covered when the string breaks, so 0 0.5192. So the total distance is 2.7692. So this was the whole thing. The only problem arises when we didn't take in this thing into account that just the body is going to just move upwards. They are just asking for the distance it has covered when it move, travels up the plane. Okay, the body is not coming down instantaneously. Suddenly it will just continue to move forward due to inertia. So that's all about question number five, part C. I hope you understand this. Thank you.